Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. So I'm going to give you some predictions here. I don't like to do predictions, but I'm going to give you some predictions on what's going to happen with AI and artists and the music business over the next few years, which actually may be the next few weeks. Okay, let me read you some headlines. Drake's AI clone is here and Drake might not be able to stop him. Him is actually AI. The person creating this track is a TikToker called Ghostwriter977. Here's another one. Heart on My Sleeve uses AI to simulate Drake in the weekend. New York Times, it says, an AI fake Drake and The Weeknd rattles the music world. And it goes on to say that Drake and The Weeknd, two of the most popular musicians on the planet, the existence of Heart of My Sleeve, a track that claimed to use AI versions of their voice to create a passable mimicry, may have qualified as a minor nuisance, a short-lived novelty that was easily stamped out by the powerful record company. So this thing actually went viral, this fake Drake. There's also fake Kanye. There's now fake Kurt Cobain. I'm going to play a couple of these things in a minute. Okay, before we go on, what is AI or artificial intelligence? It's basically using computers to match or exceed the abilities of a human. So that would be the ability to discover, infer, or reason. And it does all this without having to be programmed. Under AI, think of it as an umbrella. You have machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, speech recognition, robotics, seeing, hearing, basically anything a human being can do. And this is done by feeding it massive amounts of data. The TikTok video by Ghostwriter977 was taken down. The YouTube video, however, was blocked and it says, this video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by Universal Music Group. Okay, does Universal Music Group own this? Because this is created by someone else. This is an original composition. Are they saying they own Drake's voice? Because if someone does a parody or if they do an imitation of Drake, that's fair use. All right, I'm going to play you a couple of these AI creations. The first thing is by a group called AISIS, like Oasis, but AI. And this is a Liam Gallagher AI-created voice with a real band. I don't belong in this place where I was born But I was hoping that you come and set me free Another sunny day and I've just I found this video by a YouTuber named Roberto Nixon that shows how you do this vocal replacement. He did it with Kanye's voice. Check this out. I didn't notice that I sound like Kanye West. No, Yeezy didn't record a voiceover for me for this video. I didn't learn how to do impressions. This is AI. So let me come back to my original voice for a second because this is crazy. Today on Metaverse, I posted AI Kanye covering popular song. Here's an example of him singing Day, Day and Night. night. I toss a turn, I keep stressing my mind. That's clearly crazy. And I started thinking, you know, what are the implications of this for the music? What are the implications, now all you have right? To do is record reference vocals and replace it with a trained model of any musician you like. Okay, so let me play another one. This is a Drake thing that I just pulled up. This is called Drake AI, and it says, Winter's Cold. Winter's cold, where I'm from, yeah, I got enemies, okay, the winter's cold, where I'm from, they try enemy, I swear the winter's cold, where I'm from, they try to send us me, okay, the winter's cold, where I'm from, we had them ten and key, I swear that... That sounds a lot like Drake. As a matter of fact, I can see people liking this song, even though they know that it's not really Drake. As a matter of fact, there's a YouTuber called More Life Shack who reacts to the song. Check this out. That's crazy. We got to say AI Drake, fake Drake, and, and real Drake now. It's crazy. That is crazy to me. That's how scary this stuff them got. Everybody said, wait till he hear when it's cold by the AI. We finna check this out, man. This gotta be a banger. The video got a million views, bro. A million views. And people know it's not Drake. People know it's not Drake. It got a million. Let's check this out, man. Let's go. When it's cold, I'm from. When it's cold, I'm from. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Drake, bruh, you gotta hire this shit, man. This is better than your actual ghostwriters, my nigga. And that's no funny stuff. That's no funny stuff, Drake. You gotta hire this He better than you. <laughs> More Life Shack is proving my predictions I'm going to make in a second. But first, we're going to listen to an AI Kurt Cobain, this is sacrilegious, singing Black Hole Sun over the original tracks. Check it out. In my eyes, can dispose, can disguise as no one knows. Love's the face, love's the snake. Here's some artifacts there. Not very good. That's pretty good. Meet the back the sky upstairs. Call my name to the king. Kurt Cobain would never use a vibrato like that. Here's another example. This one's really interesting. This is a Paul McCartney song from 2013 with Paul singing it. And then it goes into an AI version. They've replaced Paul's 71-year-old voice with a young Paul McCartney. This has really interesting ramifications. Check it out. Don't look at me. It's way too soon to see what's gonna be. Don't look at me. All my life, I never knew what I could be, what I could do. Then we were new. I got to say, my friends prefer the AI young Paul McCartney to the 71-year-old one. They've also included a version of AI John Lennon later on in the song. This part, check it out. You see, there's no guarantee. We've got nothing to lose. Now, that doesn't quite sound as much like Lennon, but you can imagine how these things will sound in a couple years. Okay, here's my predictions. What's going on with AI right now is exactly what happened when Napster came out in 1999. College kids started sharing MP3s. The labels didn't know what to do about it. You had artists like Metallica suing people. Everybody went insane, and the music business just completely fell off a cliff and they really never figured out what to do until streaming years later. Another thing happened around 1999 is people started using Pro Tools all the time. Manufacturers of tape machines couldn't sell them. So a $40,000 tape machine like I have in my control room here, I bought for 1500 bucks. I don't know, in 2008 or something. It was worth nothing. These things were so expensive that no one used them. Everyone was using Pro Tools in the box recording. Another thing that happened, these amps back here, these speaker cabinets, those weigh about 80 pounds a piece, these 412 cabinets, and the heads are about 50 pounds. If you don't have someone to help you, it's almost impossible to move it and to bring it to a gig and lug it in. Nobody wants to do that anymore. So what do they have now? They have these plugins, like Tim Henson's plugin here on this laptop, that all you need to do is have a little interface and plug into your laptop, and it can come through the speakers on stage, and you don't even need a real amp anymore. All you gotta do is carry your laptop with you, or carry an Axe FX or a uh, Neural DSP Quad Cortex, whatever it is. You don't need to carry stuff around. It's all about convenience now. Technology never moves backwards, it just doesn't. Auto-tune. Once people started using Auto-tune 1998 with Share, people started using it and it just never stopped. It still hasn't stopped. People are not going to stop using AI. They're going to use it more and more and more. The only question is, what are the labels going to do about it? What are the artists going to do about it? And what are the fans going to do about it? I was just reading an article that my friend Rich told me about, about the artist Grimes, who's a lo-fi hip-hop dance artist, who said in a tweet, I believe, last week, that you can use her voice for AI music. She just wants 50% of the money from it. And as these things get better and better, you're going to hear mashups of things. You're going to hear things that sound like they could be lost tracks of deceased artists. 
It's just going to keep happening more and more and more. Then all the fights are going to start. You think this Ed Sheeran, Marvin Gaye lawsuit is big? Well, wait till this starts happening. Does Drake own the sound of his voice? Or does the record label that he signed to, UMG, own the sound of his voice? Or is this an original composition that's fair use? AI is here to stay, whether it's someone inputting Chris Cornell's voice and having... Lane Staley's voice or Kurt Cobain's voice or Eddie Vedder's voice or Bing Crosby's voice come out on the other side, that's going to keep happening. And they're going to be impossible to chase down all of these. The other thing that's going to happen is that the artists are going to say, okay, I'm fine with this. Uh, I just want to get my 50% or 100% of it or whatever. And they'll fight with the record labels to who owns what. And there's going to be Drake and then Drake AI. There's going to be the Beatles and then the Beatles AI. This is going to be on Apple Music. It's going to be on Spotify. It's going to be everywhere. Jimi Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix AI. The Weeknd, The Weeknd AI. And people will accept these. As a matter of fact, many of them will like the AI versions better than the original artists. Like More Life Shack, like AI Drake better than Drake. At first, the labels are going to be like, oh, this is great. We have this new source of revenue that we never knew was going to exist. This is amazing. And the artists are going to say the exact same thing. And so the record labels are saying, well, why do we even need to share the money with the artists? We need to just create our own artists. In fact, this is a statement UMG put out about this Drake situation here. It says, UMG's success has been in part due to embracing new technologies and putting it to work for our artists, as we've been doing with our own innovation around AI for some time already. Oh, really? With that said, however, the training of generative AI using our artist's music, which represents both the breach of our agreements and violation of copyright law, as well as the availability of infringing content created with generative AI on DSPs, begs the question as to which side of history all stakeholders in the music ecosystem want to be on. The side of artists, fans, human creative expression, or on the side of deep fakes, fraud, and denying artists their due compensation. They are going to actually just get rid of the artists. They'll make the money from Drake AI and the Beatles AI and whoever. But they're going to make a bulk of their money, I predict, from fake artists, from AI artists, because people don't care. I'm sorry. Just like people don't care whether they're playing through a real amp or not. None of the young bands that I go out and see care. That's going to happen. But then you got... Things like Spotify and Apple Music. Now, Spotify is going to be like, well, we're the distributor of this, unless UMG is putting out their own streaming thing. But Spotify basically has that, and so does Apple Music. Okay, so Spotify is going to be like, well, we don't need the record labels for this. Why do we need the record labels? We'll just put out our own AI artists. We have the distribution. So they'll create their, their own, and then the record labels will be fighting to compete with Spotify and their AI artists. Now, you could have a complete fracturing of the streaming model since UMG owns so much of the music that's on Spotify and Apple Music, they could threaten to take it away if Spotify doesn't cut them in on their own AI artists. I mean, it's insane to think about all this stuff that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Think about all the TV platforms, right? You got Netflix, Disney, Amazon Prime Video, HBO Max, Apple TV, Paramount Plus, ESPN Plus. Think about, there's just millions of them. It's completely fragmented. Who knows, maybe I'm going to have an AI version of me and then write my scripts with ChatGPT and you'll just think it's me making the videos, but it's actually really a uh, AI simulation of me. Love to know your thoughts. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.